In the end, it's not the years in your life that count, it's the life in your years. Abraham Lincoln. Hey everyone, welcome to Quotes to Live By. I'm John Timmerman. Good old Abe dropping bombs on us. This is a super popular quote that I'm sure you've heard before. And often on these in these quotes, this this show, we are talking about reflecting at the end of your life. And this is a po- this is a positive podcast. This is a motivational podcast. This is not meant to be, you know, a negative podcast or shedding in a negative light and think light and thinking about death. But often, if you picture yourself towards the end of your life and what are the things that are actually going to have mattered, it helps to put things into perspective today. And Abraham Lincoln uh, delivered some serious value with this quote that in the end, it's not quite, it, it's often not the years in your life. So I've done a lot of studying on, um, on people who have been on their deathbeds and, you know, regrets, you know, older people, people, they're wiser than us you know, young bucks. And, and um, it's great to look to, to the older community to, to get some advice and to get some wisdom. So I've done a lot of research and read interviews and books uh, on these things that often creep into uh, our minds as we get older and, uh, and things that we regret. And um, often has, I, I don't remember that I've ever heard a regret being that I wish I lived longer. You know, I'm not going to say never because, of course, there's probably people that, that died really early and they wish they lived longer. Or if you have lost somebody, you know, I'm sure you w- wish that they lived longer. That's not what I'm saying. But what is even bigger than that is the uh, impact that you have, you have given to the world or had on the world in the time that you've been here. That's what I want. I want to make sure that I've had a positive impact in the one life that I have. And whether you believe in the afterlife or not, you want to make sure that whatever it is you're doing. So for me, it's my businesses. I want to make sure that my businesses are giving value to the world and giving value to the employees that, that help to operate them. That's a huge goal of mine, positive impact. Money is only a goal to support that mission. That's it. It's not, the money is not the goal. The positive impact is the goal. So find out what your you know, impact is. What does that life within your years look like? Uh, there's people who are adrenaline junkies and they are just in it for the thrill. They want to get their adrenaline up and experience insane things like skydiving and downhill mountain bike racing and mountain climbing and snowboarding and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, while you're young, great, more power to you. Pack that life in. Then there's other people that love to travel. They want to see as many countries and communities as possible. They want to meet as many people as possible. Great. Go and do it. Pack it into those years. Then there's people like me that want to grow as many successful businesses as I possibly can to spread around the positive impact that I'm having on the world and growing a community of employees and and team members inside of those companies that will then, you know, pay forward the empathy and the happiness that hopefully I'm creating in the environment that we're building. You know, that's me, and I want to do that, rinse and repeat, while raising my family and supporting my family in the best way that I can for as long as I am here. So, awesome quote by Abraham Lincoln. Don't take this in a negative light. Don't think about this as like, oh, man, I'm going to die. Like, think of it like, what can I do right now? What can I do today to start to walk down the path of packing as much value into and happiness into the one life that you have? Thanks for watching or listening. Remember to share and like this uh, show, this episode, if you found it valuable. Share it to your friends, coworkers, anybody else who you think might find it valuable. And subscribe to our podcast or YouTube channel for more episodes of Quotes to Live By.